Hello and welcome to Roleplay Royale with Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. Last time we ventured out into the Omoa village and also uh, did some um, little side questing, returned to the beach to check if there's something new. There wasn't and today we are um, going to the dig site and find out what happened there. Or at least we're trying to. So let's jump back into the world map if we can and uh, make our way towards that. We also met a strange guy in the woods with uh, trained boars. That was interesting. Our team still consists of Idair and Shoti, and of course our hero of the story, Naya. So, the dig site is to the east. We have to get through the Wakura path. Let's see what happens here. The trail before you seems thoroughly disturbed by erratic tracks, the sparse plants to the immediate side of the path roughly mangled. A struggle may have occurred here. Mm, yeah, that's perception and survival. Let's search the area. Um, let's, uh, Adair has pretty high perception but higher um, survival, so let's take him. A dare makes sense of the chaos within moments. No blood spatters suggest it was not a fight, and your compatriot easily identifies the clawed prince of Xorips. The tracks seemed recent. I remember the Xorips from the first uh, Pillars of Eternity. Little... I don't know. I'm not sure how to describe them, but they were like goblin-like enemies. A dry and ropey vine has been pulled taught across the path and inexpertly covered in dirt. Beyond a group of rope figures cringe and cower at a nearby river's bend. Each is frozen in place, ashen and grey, like statues crafted of soot. Um, it's on the trap. Let's try. Failure! A dare hand slips during the attempt. With a sharp crack, a puff of green gas bursts into the air. Several feet away, it begins to harmlessly disperse. The patter of footfalls, the patter of footfalls to either side demand your attention as Xorips appears. Their simple spears held at the ready. The foremost reptilian wielder, a dull-scaled creature with yellow eyes, howls angrily at you, gesturing at the trap. The others hiss, revealing Jack mismatched teeth. The Xorips charge. Oh. Okay, great. We are in battle right away. One there, Stone Tooth. He's the stronger one. So I may want to focus on him. Hmm. Rolling Flame may not be perfect here. Attracts a swarm of aggressive insects, causing damage over time. Oh, it's an area of effect. He will probably charge through that, right? So that doesn't really make sense. Um, Woodskin. Woodskin could be nice. Uh, let's fire at him. Let's use a dare to go to the side here. Sorry, and occupy. Friend. I can't. But what do you mean you can't? And uh, you will go over there, please. 
Okay. Uh, okay. I need to move a little bit, I think. Okay. That is not good. We're not in a good position here. So, let's see. Oh boy. We're in trouble here a little bit. Um, let's see. Ooh. Let's use wood skin. Ooh, we can. Oh, it's an area of effect. I didn't know that. Oh. It was interrupted. That was rude. Uh, let's go into bear mode. We are a bear. Kind of look more like a werewolf. Maybe we are a bear wolf. Ah. Ooh, that was closer than I wanted it to be. It's the first tough fight, really. Okay, Xorip. Tongues, spears, and shields. Of course. Let's look around a little bit if there's anything else. Don't think so, but Okay, that was interesting. Um he hit me pretty good, I have to say. Mm, don't think there's anything else here, but doesn't hurt checking it out, right? No. Okay, we did it. We did it. We survived. Got a little bit close, but okay. Obviously not perfect that they were able to surround us like that. But okay. Uh, let's check out this area first. Oh, there's a thing. Heart tech. Looking for some heart tech. Before I go there, I want to explore to the north. We have some fresh fruit here, always nice. And let's go to the dig site. That is where the governor or mayor send us to investigate what happened there and if we are successful, he was willing to help us with our ship and repair it. Or help us repair it. I should also look if I can rest, because... I use my <laughs> some good spells there. I'm here. Yeah. Or am I rested automatically here? Because it looks like it. Looks like everything is refreshed. Yes. Okay. Then I'm okay with it. And we don't need to rest. But uh, do I need camping supplies? And the first one I needed camping supplies. Food and inventory. Drag food here to remove injuries and receive bonuses. Oh, so it works differently this time. Okay. Okay. I'll handle oh. this. This looks very, very much I'm like here. in the first one when the whole what was it called the the um, the soul wind was there. Biwag or so. Or Watch your weight. What? Shoti bends uh, double. Hands resting briefly on her knees before she wipes sweat from her brow. Having to catch her breath, she glances up to you with a bright smile. If you'll spare me a minute, I'd like to perform a last rite for these poorly departed souls. She reaches for her lantern on her head. Please, hip. Watcher. 
Without my guidance, they might have a hard time finding the light. Mm, okay. Yeah, you can do it, of course. Mighty kind of you. She grins happily with two intense strides forward. She unsheathes her sickle and lantern, flutely swinging each in a series of well-practiced movements. Chanting, whirling, weapons slicing the air, Shoti's voice lilts and falls in an invocation, a summons to any departed lingering in the area. This here's a final call for all souls. Last stop for the lost. Gather round now, I'll cut you loose and haul you into the light. Swinging the lantern faster and faster, Shoti plants her thighs wide and then thrusts her arms up high over her head. The lantern rattles in her grip and the light from within flares blindingly bright. In the silence of your held breath, it almost seems like a soul should sift up from within one of the corpses, quivering in the air before siphoning into the lantern's fading brilliance. But the ashen bodies are bereft of souls, so in the end, Shoti's light fades without acquiring anything. Uh, just stay silent. It's my honored duty to reap and shepherd departed souls during their journey to being reborn. With Aeth is dead, me and the other Reapers gotta gather as many souls as we can. Okay. We'll keep him safe until Gon returns to hell and can take him into his divine embrace. What do you mean? I'm keeping lost souls. And here. She taps the metal frame of the lantern. And that's all I care to say for now. Let's go. Okay. Oh, level up for Shodi. Let's do that. Alchemy. Let's go with her in stealth and um, hmm. And then let's go further into religion. She's our priest after all. Um okay. Clarity of agony or dance of death, weave her of pain. Um, now let's take this dance of death and another weapon proficiency so she's proficient in hatchet and crossbows now let's Maybe give her uh, the option, although with her lantern and everything, I thought maybe uh, give her the option to use a quarter staff. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. So here we have the dig side. There Indeed. is more going on on this side. And the copper pyre. I'll take care of this. Maybe we should sneak a little bit. Maybe this isn't bad, not entering it from the front door. Instead, we move it around. Oh, we can also craft something. Potion of physical prowess. Reagent, very root, balloon, and drugs. True, true, chew. Right. Let's let's craft some drugs, right? And craft one of these as well. I mean, why not? Okay. 
big statue. I'll handle this. Let's see. Okay, can't go down there. Oh, there's a thingy though. What's that? I see a soul in the darkness. A One worm. ready for reaping. Okay, let's... I see a soul in the darkness. Sneak One there. ready for reaping. Okay. Let's uh let's use some AoE there. Let's do shock damage. What? Not one is gone? Are you kidding me? Okay. Um. So just basic attack and. Just wanted wanted to check the AI. Um, okay, what are we doing? Just attack, but um, let's try knocking this thing down. Oh! They want to attack me! I'm Send here. a fireball right into my face. Uh, do I have something else I can cast? Uh, that's too far away. Let's do this. Shodi, you can attack though. Okay, we did it. Killed the worms. Ugh. I shall. Scroll of minor healing journal page. Whatever Odorisi did to that last batch, it's working. We're seeing much higher concentration of essence in the harvested Adra or Adra. I only wish he'd let the rest of us in on his methods. One of our Huana workers got the jolt of his life transporting one of the crates, and that's on top of the one that got blinded last week. All Odorisi has to say for himself is that they were careless. I'm the one paying the islanders' families out of my own pocket. At this rate, I'm going to be the one the one idiot who comes out of this whole enterprise with less money than I started. Okay. So, Odorisi is the guy responsible to oversee this mining expedition. Or I'll take care the of mine this. or whatever. And uh, the mayor asked us to find him. So, and it also seems that he experimented with some methods to get more Adra or better refined Adra, I guess. Oh, there's one. Okay, she's just running a little bit. Some hard tag, okay. Oh, 
there. What's the young Panther. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. I'll handle this. I just wanted to look look around a little bit first before I enter anything. Yes, destroy it. Say your prayers. Okay, they went well. We showed that barrel what's up. Foreman's quarters. I'll take care of this. Scrolled note. Take this coin out to the Juana village and see if you can round up anyone willing to do a week's digging for pay. Try the low caste type first, the Ruparu. They're used to hard work and they don't ask for more than their share. Okay, so they were clearly exploiting the Juana. Drinking their tea, so a rushed exit. Ancient training hall. Deserted cat? Let's save the cat! What's up with the cat? Gosha. Did I did I just got a pet? <gasps> Plus one perception. While Gosha is following you around, you receive a bonus of perception. Enemy weapon attackers attacks are less likely to crit against your party. <gasps> we have a cat! <gasps> it's the best game ever! I'll take care of this. We have a pet! A little cat! A little kitty cat! Okay, let's uh, go down uh, this basement first and explore the dig side a little bit further. Now that we have a cat! Okay, they kind of, ooh, they seem to be strong. <laughs> Let's send. Sorry, friend, I can't. Why can't you? Why are you always in the back? I can't. God damn it. Attack. Can you please attack? Yeah, don't see why not. God damn it, Adair. Will you do it now? Okay. I think it's time for some stack action. Certainly. Onward. Oh! More enemies! Oh no, they just. I think we did it. Yes. Okay. Let me quickly uh, get the gamma a little bit higher. It's a little bit dark there. Of course. Didn't change anything, right? Didn't make anything better. Can I use a torch or so? Maybe. Do we have a torch? I think I have a torch. 
Let's see. Maybe I can use this. Oh, I have to... Okay. Oh, there we go. So maybe it, it is supposed to be that dark. Does someone can someone else hold? Why is her goddamn lantern so weak? Honestly, what? Anything else here? Nothing? Just the two guys and then okay, guess that's it. I guess that's it. Let's go in here. The training hall. Okay. Keeping an eye out. What's this? Oh, there's a trap. I'll take care of this. Please do a thing there. Whoa, whoa, look. You please do a thing. You failed to disarm the trap. What? Oh, another trap. Come on now. Nope. I hope they're smart enough to not... Oh, what's there? Can I... Can I get there? How is he walking? Okay. He's basically getting close to me. So let's engage with a dare. And look at it from the distance. Okay. Those are strong. Oh, there's another one. Hmm. You need something stronger. Oh! He's attacking me. Stop that. Uh, can I do something about it? Can you please stop attacking me then? Uh, I'm just waiting. Never you mind that miss. Can't I'll land the next one. Certainly. Ah, oh, god damn it. Quick with the fight. Mm. It's bear time. With relish. Do a thing. Is Adair okay? Can you try to knock him down again? Oof. I'm gonna need a rest after this. Okay. Um. Can't do any casting right now, of course. No, thinks you got the decency yeah. to die. I hope nobody saw that. Okay, I need, I need some healing for. <laughs> for her, but how? Okay, let's do this, quick. Rebirth awaits me. Is she down? No. Uh, can you can you use like uh... okay that's good ah oh, this is tough first tough fights um... okay we have a frightened 
Yeah. At least, at least Adair is occupying this town. Survived. Uh, maybe we can. This thing isn't doing the job. Well, then do the job. Way tougher than I wanted it to be. Real quiet Indeed. now. Can we please not have it that close? Again. Okay, gauntlet of accuracy. Let's have a look at these. Sword. <clears throat> Plus three accuracy. Um Let's give these to Shoji. Yeah, that was that was interesting. Um, let's, let's equip the healing scroll just for just to be safe. Ooh. There's much to see in the lab. Rest. Keep it down. She injured now. Ah. Uh, that I don't like. To, that if you detect the. I feel dreadful. Trap that you. Okay, there we go outside. That they go over it. Uh, so there's nothing more inside here. Okay. <clears throat> then we will take some rest. But now I don't know how this works. Um, let's give him some vegetables. Oh, that's perception. Okay. Water is nothing. How about some rice? Minus 10% damage taken. That sounds good. Some porridge. Constitution and might. And Kuiki fruit. Recovery time. Uh, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's do a rest. Have a nice little bonfire here. Okay. Back in action. I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Let's leave. Whew. Okay. It is day again. That is good. And we have the foreman's quarters. I'll take care of this. Um got a panther down below. Let's check out. Real quiet now. I Down see a soul in the darkness. Okay. One ready for reaping. Hmm? Oh, he's sneaking. <gasps> oh, he was not good at sneaking. That. 
Are we doing things? I think we're fine. Attack. Yeah. Come on, there. Yes. With relish. <laughs> Oh, that is why I took damage, because I had this uh, destructive channeling activated, which also hurts me. Yeah, let's not do that. I shall. Oh, what's that? <clears throat> Several men and, and women appear to be locked inside a cage of some kind. There are no more than silhouettes behind the glass, pointing and gesturing you are silently. There. Are the beasts gone? One woman comes up to the door, hand pressed against the glass. Uh, I took care of the creatures, opened the door... Let's first examine the door. You can see no means of opening the door from the outside. It appears the cage is locked from within. I took care of the creatures. The woman turns away to have a muffled exchange with the others. Then she pulls uh, at something by the door and you hear a rat rattling clank. Okay. Perfecto. We are saved. A youngish man with bright eyes and twitching smile claps his hands in joy as he steps out of the cage. The woman next to him, however, remains sober. Me and the Watcher? We're always happy to help. She beams at you, eyes filled with pride. Governor Claudio must have sent you to rescue us, no? But you do not look like one of his guards. She rises onto the balls of her feet and peers behind you as if searching for someone else. She looks to be only midway into her thirties, though the serious set of her mouth makes her seem older. I was trying to figure out what's going on here. Actually, Clara sent me to find Ulrici or his notes. Um, looking for a friend, tall, glowing, made of Adra. Maybe you've seen him. Uh, actually, Clara sent me to find Ulrici. An older woman hogs an impressive gob of phlegm onto the ground and kicks a clump of dirt over it. Wow. I told you the governor does not care about us. This is all about profit. For him and the rest of the Valian. Caloste! Okay, she silences the other with a sharp look. She turns back to you with a resigned You are breath. here, and that is what matters. What are you all doing? Hiding, of course. The corners of his mouth uh, spasm. The cranky old woman next to him sighs and lays a comforting hand on his arm. We were taking measurements of the luminous Adra when something strange began happening. Fascinating. The pillar started to dim. The ground shook, and our instruments showed unusual variations. That's when those of us with a grain of sense got into the cage. She glares at the excitable young man, but he doesn't seem to notice. So what happened then? The Colossus. Some kind of construct made from luminous Adra. It passed through the arena toward the pillar. Vanessa closes her Moments eyes. Moments later, the pillar went dark, and all of our colleagues outside the cage froze. Like they turned to ash. She goes quiet, her hands clasped in front of her. The young man leans forward, his eyes wide with a perverse kind of excitement. That is when the panthers and worms showed up, started going through the tents. It was awful, but Engfirth. Benatha shoots him with a furious look, and he falls silent again. A confused and slightly injured expression crinkles his face. Some of our people are still missing in the ruins, including Odorisi, our lead researcher. It is possible he managed to hide. Her fur brow, however, suggests otherwise. I should go look. I'll help him however I can if he didn't make it to the cage. Uh, yeah, I'll Most help of him. the ruins are that way, through the door next to the ramp. She points to a dark entrance in the eastern wall of the arena. If you are going below, you should take Engfert with you. She turns and motions someone to the front of the group. Hey, he looks just like... Adair cuts himself off for a reason not yet apparent. His jaw hangs slack. A sharp featured elf comes to the fore. As he meets your eyes, he gives you a knowing nod. 
He's earned a few new scars, but you recognize Aloth Corfisser all the time. He taps a finger to his lips, a sly smile working its way across them. I remember Aloth. We met him in Gilded Vale, the first town in Pearls of Eternity 1, a wizard. Engfrith knows a great many spells. At first, he even cast fire to chase away the panthers. Oh, wow. Until the flames nearly caught one of the tents. You're making a really great case for this Engfrith. Outside of this cage, his skills would be a boon. I do not expect the ruins will be any safer. Many of our people remained behind, which has surely attracted more wildlife. Okay. It would be prudent to take help, as long as Engfirth is willing to go. He nods. I would be happy to assist. He holds your gaze with wide, expectant eyes. What else can you tell me about Engfirth? Yeah, uh, Engfirth is an, an animator. He's a wizard called Aloth. No, I won't. I won't uh, tell him. I don't think that's really. He has only been with us a few weeks. He is inexperienced, but he came with a glowing recommendation from an academy in Salona. Oh. That is surely a generous overstatement. Elos chuckles uncomfortably and gives you a meaningful look. Glowing re a recommendation, you say? Surely we don't have time for... <laughs> we have to roast him a little bit. A pupil of unnatural talent is the phrase I recall. Oh. It seems he was loved and regarded by almost all his instructors. Though misunderstood, I gathered, by his fellow students. I cannot imagine why. The old adamancer rolls her eyes. Really, this helpful stranger surely has more important things to worry about. The tips of Adel's ears are bright red. He glares at you. I, I think it's... If that's all, then perhaps we should be off. Mm. I'll gladly accept his help. He gives you a quick smile. Be careful, I'm Miko. She gives Aeloth hand a quick squeeze before backing away. I shall try. Aeloth not at her before leading you a short distance away. Thank you for your discretion. I'm certain you have many questions, but I fear they must wait until we're off this island. He casts a regretful glance at uh, back at Vanessa and the animator. At least tell me what you've uh, been doing here. You've made new friends. Anamans is no less. Yeah, at least tell me what's going on. That's a rather long story. The short version, for now, is that I'm gathering information on local Anamancy operations. Mm-hmm. He looks up and down. But I could ask you the same. I'm following the Adra Colossus. Eothas destroyed my keep, killed most of the people there, and nearly killed me. He'll answer for it. The gods are up uh, to something again. I need to understand what I decided to it's time to see the world and find myself or whatever part of my soul Eothis took. Um, let, let's uh, go with this. Something is up. Oh, there's never a dull moment with you. We True. can speak more freely once we're away from Port Marge. For now, let us find Odorisi. Okay. So... What do I want him to be? A wizard? A battle mage? Or a spell blade? Let's go with a uh, with, uh, wizard. I think it's fine. What is his inventory saying? Let's have a look. Uh, Keybreaker scepter. When the dust settled in sun in... Shadow, Aeloth looked upon the remains of Theos X Arcanon, his former master. He saw where the Grandmaster had gone wrong and what would be required to do undo the harm of Theos had wrought. With a flick of his wrist, he burned Theos' robe, headdress, and every other symbol of the man's power. Never again, he vowed, should Kith live in fear and blind obedience to, to an authority they did not understand. Armed with the knowledge and courage he had gained on his journeys, with the Watcher, he set out on a long and lonely task of dismantling the Leaden Key. To that end, he crafted this Iron Scepter, with which he would combat the Agent of Ignorance and Fear. 
Oh. Oh. Interesting. Wow. Peridot. Okay. Alos Leather Armor. Alos Leather Armor has been enchanted to enhance his spellcasting abilities. It also appears to have custom decorative patterns stitched into the surface. Unlike most steel wooden leather armor, Alos has been tailored in the ad adherent style. The torso is more heavily reinforced but lacks sleeves due to a adheres hot and humid climate. Okay. Let's, uh, do, 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 do. let's do this and give him one of the torches so he's able to light the way as well if I need. Okay, let's look around a little bit here before we this. look for further for, for uh, Odorisi. Oh, go on. No, 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 not the gunpowder barrel. That was close. Maybe that. I will do that on my own. Indeed. No, not too close. Boom. Nothing happened. Okay. Mm. Of course. There was another one of those. I'll take care of this. Ash and people. So I guess uh, they manned this with the ruins. So first, I will have a look at the foreman's quarters. Mm. How may oh, I help? And do we have an active? Happy to oblige. What do you need? Okay. I'm here. The better part. Indeed. What? Yes. Dim in the lantern. How may I help? What? No. I didn't want to put it there. There we go. Oh. I see a soul in the darkness, one ready for reaping. Well, as long as I don't get caught, I guess that wasn't so hard. Uh, healing potions, nice. Oh, there's a cave beetle. They'll fall by my hand. Oh, there's another cave beetle. That's not good. Okay, we took care of it. Everything is fine. No issues with the beetles. Okay, champion's medallion. Note from Foreman. One of the workers dug up this old... Adra medallion in the sub-level yesterday. I doubt Odorisi would be interested in it, and besides, it looks like it's worth something. Might be nice to surprise the crew with a bonus. Now, this medallion, this small Adra disc was apparently to be worn as a medallion. One side of the disc depicts a figure with its arms raised triumphantly above his head, a blade in one hand and a shield in the other. The other side of the disc has been worn smooth with time and is unreadable. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, 
Okay, I can go up here. It would be very unfortunate if we find a way to save these people that were turned into stone. Now we're just killing them for some copper. But oh well, things happen. Um, okay, I think we have everything here. I don't think I can pull that off. So let's go down into the ruins. Also, oh. I want to have a look at his spells first. Okay. Well, let's talk to him. Let us yeah. speak again once we've left Port Marge. Okay, so he doesn't want to talk at all. Uh, two things I could craft: Ripple Sponge and Potion of Deafness. Okay. Yes. Let's go to the sub level of the arena. And now we're here. That looks pretty ominous. So I think this will be where we end this episode. Uh, I hope you had a great time. I'm still enjoying this game a lot, a lot, a lot. If you enjoyed the episode, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want more content, consider subscribing to the channel. I will be back with Pillars of Eternity and Roleplay Royale very soon. Until then, have a great time.